Hello, <clears throat> my name is Dark Moon Doll, and on Thursdays I like to do this show called Spirituality Talk. Spirituality Talk is a show where I share with you um, matters of a spiritual nature, sometimes metaphysical, paranormal, and sometimes uh, what may seem like mundane and everyday events that happen in the world, but I feel like every part of your life, every day, has meaning to it. Spiritual meaning, living a spiritual life. So yeah, today what I want to talk to you guys about is winter solstice. Um, I know there's probably a lot of people that know of the winter solstice, um, but not quite sure of what is involved within this season. Um, most people are more familiar with Christmas, December 25th, but winter solstice is on, is on December 21st. And I'm going to read to you um, an article I found online pretty much talking about what the winter solstice is. And after that, I'm going to put in a little bit more feedback of how I celebrate winter solstice and why I prefer celebrating winter solstice as opposed to celebrating Christmas, December 25th. So here we go. The history of winter solstice. The winter solstice is again upon the northern hemisphere. And though the year's shortest day heralds the onset of winter, it also promotes the gradual return of the sun after a prolonged period of darkness. That there are holidays at the time of this astronomical event is no coincidence. Since ancient times, people have celebrated the, the solstice and observed it with many different cultural and religious traditions. Some of them survive to the present day, though not always in the, in the form you might expect. In the Northern Hemisphere, the winter solstice always occurs on or about December 21st and makes the beginning of the winter season. As many people notice, it's the shortest day of the year, featuring the least amount of daylight between sunrise and sunset. In the Southern Hemisphere, this is the time of summer solstice and the longest day of the year. From now on, as the Northern days grow longer, so do the Southern days get short shorter. The term solstice means sun stands still. On the year's two solstices, winter and summer, the sun appears to halt in its incremental journey across the sky and change little in position during this time. Of course, trend, contrary to appearances from Earth, the sun's changing position throughout the year is actually caused by the rotation of the Earth on its tilted axis as it circles the sun each year. The solstice occurs twice a year around December 22nd and June 21st when the sun is farthest from the tilting planet's celestial equator. The half of each year, the North Pole is tilted toward the sun and for half of the year the South Pole enjoys that privilege. This phenomenon creates a changing seasons, creates our changing seasons because the hemisphere facing the sun receives longer and more powerful exposure to sunlight. In the northern hemisphere the winter solstice occurs in December when the tilting of the earth makes the sun appear to be the furthest to the south and furthest away. In the Southern Hemisphere, both the seasons and solstices are reversed. Okay, here we go. Winter solstice has been celebrated since ancient times. The holiday timing of winter solstice is rooted in ancient religions. Throughout history, humans have observed the seasonal milestone and created spiritual and cultural traditions to celebrate the rebirth of sunlight after the darkest period of the year. Modern pagans attempt to observe the solstice in the traditional manner of the ancients. There is a resurgent interest in more traditional religious groups that is often driven by ecological mo motives, said Harry Yeed, a professor of re religion at George Washington University. These people do celebrate the solstice itself. So yeah, the, that's, that's the basics of what the, the winter solstice is. Um, how do I celebrate the winter solstice? I celebrate it by, um, if I can, getting outside and making a fire in the fire pit. I put out a candle. If I have two candles, I would love to have like uh, a, a red one representing the goddess and a green one representing the god, and a white one just representing spirit. And I uh, put those candles out and light them, 
and I do like just a short ritual where I give appreciation and thanks for all that I have and honor the changing of the season, the winter, the dormant season where everything is quiet and we're going to get thrown more further into introspection. I also do my own readings. I bring out my tarot cards and I bring out my runes that I made myself and I give myself a reading and record my reading in a special notebook just to mark the seasons and to mark what's going on with me because I feel like we're all affected by each season of the year. And I've mentioned these books before that I like to refer to one in particular the most is Scott Cunningham's A Guide for the Solitary Practitioner, uh, Wicca. And that's a book that I like to look at. He has some really simple uh, rituals and things you can do on your own. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, all the thing the Wicca witch is just wise one. That's what it means. But the word witch has been used in a very derogatory term throughout the years. And it's making these people that, that practice this, um, this really like appreciation of nature and all things Mother Earth, it's made them into looking like to the world to be evil and just dark, creating dark forces and doing all kinds of weird shit that um, a lot of witches do not do. So I wanted to show you something, if I could find it or read to you something from Scott Cunningham, and he talks about um, winter solstice, if I can find it. But yeah, I mean, that's basically what winter solstice means to me. And why do I like to celebrate that more than uh, Christmas? Because Christmas seems artificial to me. Uh, Christmas seems like a made up, it's just made up. It's a made up holiday in order for people to dish out, you know, buy tons of stuff that they, a lot of stuff they can't even afford to buy for their loved ones in order to make them happy. And it's so commercial. It's extremely commercial. Yeah. So he mentions Yule, which I, and he's saying Yule is December 21st. So this, yeah. So the goddess gives birth to a son, the god at Yule, December 21st. This is no way an adaptation of Christianity. The winter solstice has long been viewed as a time of divine births. Mithras was said to have been born at this time. The Christians simply adopted it for their use in 273 CE. Yule is a time of the greatest darkness, is the shortest of the day of the year. Earlier people noticed such phenomenon and supplicated the forces of nature to lengthen the days and shorten the nights. Wiccans sometimes celebrate Yule just before dawn when watch, then watch the sun rise as a fitting finale to the efforts. Since the God is also the sun, this marks the point of the year when the sun is reborn as well. So yeah, you can buy this book if you want or find it somewhere. Um, I also use uh, Wicca for One with Raymond Buckland and it has some uh, basics about the seasons. But yeah, that's why I, I prefer to celebrate winter solstice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this show today. Uh, Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing to my channel, and thank you for the likes and shares. And leave your comments down below on what you think about winter solstice, and any comments about spirituality just in general would be nice to hear. You could make it into a show for next week, maybe. Alrighty guys, I'll see you soon. Get outside with Mother Earth. Peace.